Welcome to Smithville Chamber Chatter, coming to you from historic Smithville, Texas. We're here to talk about all things Smithville, including upcoming events, updates and tips for and about local businesses, important news, election updates, and more. Brought to you by the Smithville Area Chamber of Commerce, I'm your host, April Daniels. Welcome to our podcast. Good afternoon and welcome to the Smithville Chamber Chatter podcast with your host, April Daniels. We're excited to be continuing our podcast series today with a first in our community profiles. Sponsored by the Smithville Area Chamber of Commerce and this week's sponsor, Craig's Jewelers. Our guest today is Gina cronus Bear, owner of Chevron Smithville. Good afternoon, Gina, and thank you for being our guest on the Smithville Chamber Chatter podcast. Good afternoon, April, and I'm very delighted to be here and participate in this great uh, event that you have with the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, Gina. We really appreciate you. Now, you have been in Smithville for quite some time, ever since the early 80s is what my understanding. That's Can correct. You great. Can you tell our listeners and viewers a little bit about your choice to make Smithville your home and to open not just one, but multiple business over the years? Well, what happened in 1983, 1984, we had a very successful restaurant in East Austin called La Cabana Restaurant, and we sold it, and we, we signed a non-competitive clause that brought us completely out of the city limits. We couldn't even work on a restaurant. So driving down the highway to this Bastro County that we were not familiar with, but we knew that the Air Force Base was there, uh, close by shortly after and um what happened is my mother as we were driving on highway 71 back in 1984 uh she saw this piece of land for sale at the Doty river state and she said this is it and that's how it started with sometimes that's it. just how it works isn't it yes you get a feel for a place and you decide this is where i want to be that's and now I'm you've saying. been here nearly 40 years. So it really is. Nearly 40 here. years. That is yeah. correct. <laughs> Which 1984 doesn't sound that long ago, but I guess it was a little while ago. It was. It really was. <laughs> I want to take just a moment to thank today's sponsor of our podcast, Craig's Jewelers. Thank you, Craig's Jewelers, for always being there for us and, and being a big supporter of the Smithville Chamber. Now, Gina, I know you have been a remarkable, generous supporter of many causes and organizations over the years in Smithville. And I want to point out, too, as the director of our Smithville Chamber, it has been my experience that business owners that support their local community and their local organizations uh, tend to be much more successful here in our, in our uh, community. And I know that Gina has been one of those amazing supporters and volunteers in our community. Tell us about some of those causes. I know one that's dear to my heart and many of our other listeners and viewers' hearts is your wonderful contribution to Smitty, our Guinness World Record holding gingerbread man. Oh, yes. That was <laughs> an amazing project. It was done in our bakery and with the participation, of course, of a lot of members of the Chamber of Commerce, the Lions Club. Uh, it was just an amazing project. And seeing it before our eyes happening, it, it was it was worth it. It was worth it. A uh, lot of the things that I've done at the beginning, I had a rough a rough time, a rough start. It takes years to to come out of your shell and you're new in a new county, new country. Well, new country, then new county, new city, and it was very difficult at the beginning, but um as a chinese proverb says if muhammad doesn't come to you you go to muhammad and it's chinese for some reason um so i says i need to get out so i came out we opened la cabana in lagrange and i participated in both cabanas in smithfield and lagrange and also gonzalez for quite a few years um i became a member of the Fayette County Rotary Club, then started the Rotary Club in Smithfield. Then we moved to the Basto County Rotary Club. And I was one of the first, per first person in the Smithfield one to be um, starting that club with Beverly Reed. 
um, did the Children Advocacy Center that was amazing, helped a lot with the family crisis, did the, of course, something very dear to me is the Lions Club uh, and the Chamber. I, I did a lot of years in the Chamber and I keep coming back to it for some reason. Um, the Bastrop County Food Pantry was another amazing project that I enjoyed. And so far, uh, I'm trying to keep myself busy, even though I slowed down in the last 10 years. Well, I happen to know that having been myself fairly active in the community for the last 15 years or so, you were one of the very first business owners I met when I joined Lions Club. And you've been such an inspiration to me. We served on the, on the chamber board together before I started running the chamber. And now you have very uh, kindly come back to be on the board again and give us your many years of experience in our community. And we so appreciate everything that you've done. Do so. Very happy Thank to you. do so, April. Now, Gina, I know that you, your current business, Chevron Smithville, you've had for some time. Tell us about your business, how long you've been there, what you offer, your hours, location, whatever else you'd like to tell us. Okay. When we first built La Cabana, uh, we opened it in finally in May of 1985. And as time went by, we bought the land uh, east of us and then the other lot east of us and then the other lot, three lots on right on Highway 71. And in 1999, we decided to expand and open the Chevron Smithville, which is called also Clara's Store and Bakery in the name of my mother. Uh, that's been there since uh, actually February the 14th, 1999. It's been ups and downs, uh, but it's been a neat experience. Do I miss La Cabana? Yes. But uh, the business that I have now, I'm very thankful to my community that had always supported me since the 80s. And that's why you give, because they give you more than what you will ever, ever give to them. And my, uh, this community, which is also my community now, uh, we're very giving to each other and very respectful too. So I appreciate everything Smithville has ever done for me. And well, my business, you know, we're open uh, seven days a week, 365 days. I only close due to the fires. The highway closed on me too. Um, but other than that, always open, always willing to help. Uh, I have now the dealership of the U-Hauls. Uh, I sell neat stuff like vinyl records and vintage. So I'm active all the time. And I do mean all the time in the store. I'm there every day, all day long. Well, I know that's right. You, of course, you have a very active U-Haul dealership and the only one in our area, of course, in the, the Smithville area. Right. You, um, I, I understand that you also have a bakery of some sort that operates that's there. Correct. There's a young girl from up north that is operating my, my uh, kitchen. That's excellent jobs, excellent cookies and cakes. And she does... She does wonderful with her breakfast also. But another exciting thing that happened yesterday, finally, uh, I was contacted a few months ago by Amazon Prime, looking for a place for lockers. So they came in finally yesterday and surveyed the area and they loved it. So now everybody will be able to pick up their packages at my store at any time. Oh, that's exciting. 24 yes. hours a day. 24 hours. I'll have most of them inside, but they also suggested to keep some outside in, in case they want to come in between the hours that I'm close, which will be 10 uh, p.m. to 6 o'clock in the morning. So some of them, if the customer requests 4 o'clock in the morning, then it'll be outside. So that's another great example for our viewers and our listeners. As things change and as we uh, technology changes, uh, being flexible and adding in things like Amazon drop-off lockers, not only does that provide a valuable service to our community, but it is expansion of your own, uh, your own business and, and another uh, needed uh, line of income into your business. And that is always how we're going to see our businesses change and grow over time. 
good for you. Up. And and you heard it first here on the Smithville Chamber Chatter. Yeah, so, it's uh, actually correct because I yeah. have just kept it quiet for a while because not until I see it. Yes, certainly. So, they already did yesterday. Well, that's exciting news. And I know that people have had some trouble with packages disappearing off their porches. So that is a very exciting way to make sure you can get your packages here in your community and not be worried about losing them. Safely yes. and safely. Fantastic. Yes. yes. Well, Gina, thank you so much for appearing today and talking to us about your, about your business. I know our listeners and viewers were excited to hear from such a longtime member of our business community. Thank you, Gina. Thank you, April. Thank you to everybody. Enjoy Smithville, a big small town experience. Bye everybody. Bye. Thank you for listening to Smithville Chamber Chatter with your host, April Daniels. If you'd like to be a guest, email us at april.daniels at smithvilletx.org. Between now and our next episode, be sure to check out the Chamber's website at www.smithvilletx.org. Until then, we'll see you on Main Street.